beautiful Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I'll never ask you for your credit card details and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Gemini, this reading is for the person on your mind, okay? A lot of people in the comments box below asked if I could do a soulmate reading for uh, the person that is on their mind, so here it is. I will be doing the usual singles reading and twin flame reading separately in the next couple of days. Uh, so this is for people who are in a couple or who are connected to somebody and want to see how the relationship is faring at this moment. Uh, thanks so much, Spirit Guides, Bright Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to get all your cards first before I uh, do the energy reading. Uh, but you got Falcon, so it's not a surprise that you got a bird, which is an air element, of course. Um, and you focus a lot on your, your person. Um, we've got here, oh, we got the Devil card for your person. Uh, we've also got the Squirrel. Okay, so we've got the Hierophant and we have the Judgment. Okay. So uh, perhaps uh, you feel like you've met your match, my beautiful Gemini, when it comes to commitment and uh, to love. You don't actually um, get into a relationship easily. You, 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 know, you may fall in love with a person, but you actually have that uh, sense of duality, which means you sort of really weigh up your options as to whether you want to commit or retain your freedom. So uh, it takes you a long time to actually commit uh, in a relationship. Um, but when you do, your heart is completely theirs, and uh, you know you're very exciting to be with. You're you're somebody who um, is very sensual, has a, you know a lot of communication there as well. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? Okay. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What are they meant to see for their highest good? Ooh. Okay. Your person has a real desire for security, and there's a bit of a fear here regarding security. Um, so uh, we will clarify that and see what's going on there. Um, I mean, Gemini, you're showing up in your own reading there with the King of Swords as well. But you do have a Knight of Wands there, which uh, I feel like this person, it's almost like this person is not uh, trusting, they've got trust issues or something like that. So let me just have a look at that and see what's going on there. Um, I'm just gonna get an overall outcome here as well, but there's a lot of love here. I, I see that um, there's, it's almost like sometimes communication gets a little bit skewed. Um, we've got the Magician card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Uh, we've got the Moon card. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? Uh, and we've got the world card. Okay, so I see you both entering a new cycle. Both of you are magnetized towards each other. You know, I, I feel it's like very, um, they're giving me a number, by the way. They're, they're just giving me 0909, 0909. So either that is a synchronistic number that you keep seeing. Um, and um, look up the spiritual meaning of 0909, okay? Um, because they're just showing it to me in the water. I'm scrying as I'm doing your reading. Uh, we got the Six of Cups, so you will return to each other. I feel like you and this person, um, but mm, we got four cups there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? And I only say, hmm, it's because um, both you and this person that you're with, uh, keeping the spark alive in the relationship is very important. I mean, that's important to everybody. But we got a four cups there, so sometimes, you know, um, I feel like you, you and this person get stuck in a pattern and you know, wonder if um, this is a, how can I put that? Yes, like, um, 
if this relationship is for the long term, okay? And it seems to be, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to go one more. Um, and this person wants commitments. So this person may want to get married as well. Uh, we've got the Hermit energy. Oh, they just said one more. I wasn't. I was only going to do one, but... Nine of Wands. Okay, so um, quite a complex dynamic for this particular reading, but let's uh, get straight to it. Um, your first card here is Falcon. So that is you of the mind, of the air, okay? And it's number 21, which is the world card as well. So you tend to go through new cycles, especially since you've got that energy of uh, duality about you. You really encompass all. You, you think about things from your side of the street, you think about things from your person's side of the street, you think about the pros and cons of a relationship all the time. You do get up in your head sometimes about all of that and you really ask yourself whether you um, truly want to commit to a person because um, you don't commit for the long term easily, let's put it that way. Not to say that you don't love, but um, having a relationship for the long term um, is something that you really can see the pros and the cons for, as it were. Um, but when you commit to a person, and I feel like you want to commit to this person, okay? I, I see that you want to build something that's been quite delicate um, with this person. Um, I see you thinking about this person all the time and you're wondering why you can't get this person off your mind. This, this is the one, you know, I, I feel like this is the one. I'm going to pull a card on that tower energy because it can also, it can all, it can almost mean that, you know, all of a sudden you're carefree and wild and, you know, uh, flirtatious and having a great time that all of a sudden you caught feelings and, you know, you want to build something strong with this person. You really want to come together and, um, you know, I feel there's a lot of communication. You want to show this person that you're in for the long term. We've got focus, action, purpose, aspiration. So, I mean, that really encompasses who you are. I feel like your focus is totally on this person. And I feel that um, this person lifts you higher in, in some ways that other people have never done before. Also, you know that this person is your person. I just, you know, sometimes you just know instinctively that you've met your person and I, I feel this could have even been a bit of a love at first sight for you um and that would be like a perhaps a first for you is what they're giving me here um but the falcon is like a bird of prey so i feel like this person over here there's some anxiety over here because this person's looking for commitment but they've got the devil card so um either you and this person <clears throat> have been with each other before and you have reun you reunited or this person is almost like they sense that Gemini tendency to like be wild and free and I mean that's really exciting you know most of my Gemini friends that I've got they're the most exciting people to be with and they're incredible they're funny wise they're so intelligent uh their conversation is just you know off the charts uh interesting so this person is almost like got s the, the one that you're dealing with here has got a little bit of um low self-confidence and they're wondering why someone who is so free and wild would want to settle with them and it's almost like their insecurity may be getting in the way a little bit so we're just going to um clarify a little bit more there but your focus is on this person okay i see this person you're having faith here uh it's almost like blind faith with that justice card as you can see she's blindfolded you're using your intuition you know that you want to be with this person um the justice card is uh you know making adjustments as it were uh in order to settle down so uh you know that's what we do in relationships uh taking the romance unfortunately out of it you know we all get into um you know uh, a situation with a person where we're like falling in love and we're like oh wow now I've got to make space you don't even think about it consciously but you make space for that person in your life because they matter and I feel that's what you're doing you're making space for this person because they matter now whether you're just in a relationship with this person or whether you have uh, been with this person like 40 years uh, I feel like you constantly adjust your energy uh, to match the the vibrations in the union you're quite fluid like that okay uh, but you want it to be equal uh, also intelligence matters for you when it comes to a relationship you definitely need someone who uh, you know has is on the same vibration as you uh, intellectually um, because you, you know conversation and you know debate and all that is very important to you um, and of course, fun is important as well, but, uh, you know, and truth and honesty. So um, we've got this, the justice card is about karma as well. So I feel like you're weighing up your options, adjusting, um, and, you know, this is some good karma being with this person. 
Uh, but we've got the three of uh, pentacles here. Now, we've got the three of pentacles here. Your person's got the four. So I feel like both of you are quite connected in terms of vibrations. Uh, but there's some sort of wounding or something that's gone on here between you and this person that needs to be mended or needs to be looked at, processed. Um, because the three of pentacles is about teamwork, working together. You know that you want to be with this person, Gemini. But... Um, you know, this is a delicate flower, right? And th these these two birds are helping this person build this delicate flower into something really stable with bricks. So I feel like that's how this relationship is sort of um, metamorphosis. Yeah, metamorphosizing is what they're giving me. Um, yeah, it's almost like this is becoming something stronger, something more long term. And this may even shock you uh, a little bit. Uh, but Three of Pentacles, I'm going to pull a card on that tower, as I said, because there's some shocking energy here. And your person's got a Six of Swords as well. So they've been overthinking something and it's caused them a lot of stress, but they're moving on from that. I mean, the outcome here is, uh, you know, you repairing uh, the relationship because we've got an Eight of Pentacles there or repairing some sort of um, situation that has influenced the relationship. So, for example, you may have been in a very damaging relationship in the past and it's caused you to, you know, say to yourself, you know what, I'm never going to settle down again. I'm going to be wild and free. You know, I, I, I'm i just not going to, unless I meet an absolutely very special person and you may exhibit traits where you're really like, um, you know, a lusty, free-spirited person. Let's put it that way. And then this person's come along and perhaps has had a similar journey where they've been hurt in love and they've got fears that are blocking their full commitment to a union. Um, and even though they know with the judgment card that this is a relationship that they want to commit to, they know that this is their purpose, uh, but they feel fear. So I feel like they're going slowly. They're slowly building. Now they may be, uh, their energy may be a little bit more earthy than yours, your air elements. Your person may have a little bit more earth in their chart because I'm seeing a lot of earth there or a lot of grounding. Um, but there's some sort of experience here in your relationship that is making both of you um, be a little bit tentative of each other sometimes. So um, that Three of Pentacles is a rebuilding card, but it's you working together to do that. You see yourself as a unit with this person. You see that this is um, something that you want to um, commit to long term if you haven't already. Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands here. Now the Knight of Wands, I always say is like a, a player card, uh, but I, I don't feel that energy from this um, card at this moment in time. What I feel is, you know, that you're very determined, you're very passionate, you're, you, you know, you've got that unstoppable um, thirst for um, excitement, knowledge, you know, you, you, you're always someone who's on the go. You're the sort of person who, you know, trusts their vision and acts upon it. You trust your intuition. And I feel, you know, you've been willing to go through, literally jump through hoops for this person without, you know, um, you know, losing your dignity, for example. So I feel like, you know, you've gone the extra mile for this person and they may not realize it. Um, we'll see why in a moment. But the Knight of Wands is someone who's very bold, very brave, you know, it takes you a while to, for example, get into a, a relationship uh, and give your heart. But when you're in, you're in, you're also someone who's very optimistic. And this person is very cautious that you're dealing with here. Um, now, I feel like you may have started this relationship with like, a bit of a bang, like love at first sight kind of energy, like you're like, whoa, this person's got something that I've not felt before and then you you've been willing to sort of explore how it goes um and you think about this person a lot but either you're shocked that this person has either taken a step back uh because this person or, or perhaps this person is at a distance from you or has for example just got a job that's overseas or just got a job that takes them out of town or something like that because there's like a distance there's a travel I feel between you both now it could be just that there's something that's gone on in your relationship that has caused a bit of a stir and um i feel like this is something that uh you've been it's been on your mind a lot because we've got uh, the, the king of swords there um i'm gonna pull a card just to clarify uh that knight of wands um thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful gemini we've got the nine of pentacles in the reverse yeah so, I mean, if it was in the upright, I would say, you know, perhaps you uh, desire to have your single life again, but it's in the reverse, which tells me that, you know, um, 
you're working really hard to uh, commit yourself to this connection. You you love this person. You want to settle down. Um, also, this could be that, you know, with the nine of pentacles in the reverse there, it could be that uh, you've been working really hard. Um, so you've been focusing on uh, your career, focusing on... Um, ambition and achievement and there perhaps hasn't been much time to focus on the relationship so you're trying to find that balance with that uh, you know Libran uh, sort of uh, justice card now this particular card is number eight in the uh, major arcanas normally it's number 11 the justice card but number eight means you're being really honest with yourself okay you're weighing up um, your connection with this person and trying to um, make it stronger that's what I feel. You're trying to make it stronger here. You can't stop thinking about this person, okay? Uh, the King of Swords is your card. This is also a card of judgment. It's a card of analyzing things, trying to be really impartial and see fairly where you stand in the relationship and where they stand in the relationship. So you have a lot of charisma and you are, you know, you're, you're a very kind, loving person, my beautiful Gemini. And sometimes, and I've seen this, I've witnessed this myself in the past, uh, where some friends, they've gone to parties with their partners, my Gemini friends, and you know, they're just like the, the, the fun person to be with in the, the, the group, for example. And a lot of people gravitate towards Gemini energy because of that, um, that side of Gemini that comes out. Uh, in social settings and their partner started to think hmm perhaps they're cheating on me or perhaps they're flirting with other people and that's not the case they're just being their wonderful gregarious selves so you may have experienced that in the past my beautiful Gemini where people just thought because you're really um, open and you know talking to a lot of people and mingling and things like that that um, they don't feel secure in the relationship so I'm doing that's what's coming out in this particular reading. It may not be everybody's story, but that's what's coming out here. Um, the King of Swords is you sort of like being a little bit detached sometimes as well, okay? You lead with your head. Even though you're very passionate and your heart is engaged, you know, you're a great communicator, but you think before you act, okay? And, you know, sometimes you may go a little bit detached or a little bit silent while you uh, think about things before you... Um, communicate how you're feeling to your person because you there's a real balancing act here between um you and your um your passions you try to keep everything tempered okay so whilst you're very passionate you're also very in your head analyzing things before you commit yourself to them but i see you wanting stability with this person you want to build something special uh, the tower energy now the tower energy doesn't have to be a negative card it can also be that you're rebuilding uh, a foundation with this person they've got the judgment card here so perhaps you know they, that's a card of second chances so either you and this person have um tried to be in a relationship before and it didn't you know it went off to a false start or whether uh this person is very cautious and took a step back and you know they want a second chance now um the tower is all about having an epiphany like you know um a positive transformation within the union so for example you know if you're experiencing a tower moment with this person you may be trying to rebuild things with them or you may shock them that you actually are thinking about settling down and um if you're already married to this person uh, there could be an event whether it's external that has um, put a lot of pressure on the union that has made both of you sort of um, because your person's got the 10 of wands there and the tower it can be pressure okay whereas you are very good at analyzing pressure whether it's external or within the union um, you're very good at trying to find that balance that truth and not lose your shit over it right whereas your person uh, is they, they seem to be struggling a little bit more with this pressure or whatever that is okay uh, thanks so much for guys going angels can you please clarify the tower uh, we've got the five of cups in the reverse so the five of cups in reverse is like um hope returning to the the relationship or recovery or perhaps you're in recovery um this is basically a, the tower is recovering something that was broken or something that has crumbled it could be the, an old idea for example your person may have wanted to settle down and you, and get married and all those things and you said i'm not ready for that yet but i'm thinking about it and then all of a sudden you're like i'm ready i'm in let's do this and then they're shocked and they're, they're wondering if they can trust this uh but this card here tells me uh that there is 
whatever is gone on, there is forgiveness. There is moving on energy here. There is hope returning to this connection. And um, you feel a lot of love for this person. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You feel a lot of love for this person. You, you bring a lot to the table, my beautiful Gemini. You are so lovable as well, both inside and out. You're beautiful, you know, and you've got that wonderful spirit that a lot of people crave to be with. So whenever you get, in, you know, the feelings and you decide to connect to somebody and commit to them, you are all in because it takes you a while to really think about it and go, yeah, this is the person. This is the person I want to be with. And you're ready to, if you haven't committed already and you're in a long-term relationship, you're, you're in. You, you love this person and you want to overcome any obstacle that has got in the way of you and this person being in a union together. Whatever this tower moment means for you, because it's going to be something different for everybody, but it is a chance to rebuild, a chance to let go of all the, you know, the unwanted stuff that we tell each other in relationships, um, you know, about, especially when we're at the beginning of a relationship, sometimes people are like too cool for school. They're like, yeah, yeah, well, let's see how it goes, you know. I'm just, you know, just being awesome me and, you know, I'm not really looking to commit right now. And if it, and then all of a sudden they catch feelings and you're like, ooh. So, you know, I feel like an honest, open discussion here is important. And I feel like you're being really open with this person and you're being really fair. I feel like you're being your wonderful, authentic self. Okay. Um, now, your person's got red squirrel. So this is about resourcefulness, vigilance, preparation, busyness. So either this person is super busy um, and, you know, that's what's got you down, my beautiful Gemini, wondering, like, they're always so busy. They're not leaving enough time for the relationship or um, this person, they want stability. They work really hard because they're scared. OK, uh, when we get in a pattern of overworking and this is maybe that nine of pentacles was how you feel. Uh, it was in the reverse there. That's how you feel about your person, that they are overworking, they workaholism um, because this person is afraid of financial setbacks. This person is like almost like saving for the rainy day person. OK, so this person, they they like to know where they're at. They like to stability. Um, and this person is quite ambitious as well, but they, they want to um, commit to the union uh, something for the long term. OK, if they haven't already, if you're not married already, um, I, I would see you and this person being married. OK, that's what I see here. Now, the devil card, it's not an evil card. It basically represents highlighting or becoming aware of a blockage within the union. So this person is becoming aware of a blockage within themselves um, regarding um, taking accountability in the relationships. You know, all relationships take a lot of hard work. Even if you're with the person, your soulmate, um, there are lots of dynamics that play within the union um, that uh, can be like bumps in the road. OK, it doesn't mean you don't want to be with that person. You iron those bumps out and you, you move forward. And I see that's what you and this person are doing, even if there's been arguments or tension or uh, pressure in the relationship or even external pressure. Um, I see it, you know, I see both you and this person taking a little step back temporarily to work out that actually you can't imagine yourselves with anyone else. You want to be with each other, okay? Um, because the Eight of Pentacles tends me, tells me that it, any obstacles that you and this person experience in this relationship, you overcome them, you work them out. Um, but this person's got fear. Um, and as you can see, the theatrical curtains uh, represent like drama. Uh, also, the moon represents illusion and that shadow of that devil figure. Uh, you know, it's an illusion. It is a shadow there that has been created by a pair of hands. So it's about identifying the root cause of the thing that fe you, you're fearing. So this person is trying to identify a blockage within them. So let me just see what that is. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? New start, Ten of Swords. So this person's been badly hurt in the past. So either um, this was something that uh, happened between both of you, my beautiful Gemini, or this is something that occurred before you met this person and they were broken by a previous relationship and they are scared. Um, They're scared of commitment because of it. OK, and you may have worked really hard to try and get this person to trust you. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide King of Pentacles? They launch themselves into their work. They're very focused on finances um, and this person, I mean, they make really good decisions when it comes to making money and manifesting their dreams and their goals and things like that. Um, but in terms of, I mean, this person could also, because the devil card is also about obsession. So this person could be obsessed about making money because they've been really badly hurt in the past. Now, hurt people tend to hurt people because 
as soon as a person is hurt, they shut down. They put a shield around their heart and they, they, they instantly go into survival mode where they're like, you know what? I'm all good by myself. I don't need nobody. And uh, then they start catching feelings for, uh, you know, a, a new person, for example, but they've still got that fear and that fight or flight energy within them. Okay. Um, that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it good. But this person, uh, they're obsessed with work, perhaps. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Queen of Swords. Yeah. So in the reverse. So this person tends to, um, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, even if you're a cross watcher, uh, tends to take a step back. Okay. Um, because they're very, very cautious at giving their heart away. Okay. The Queen of Swords in the reverse is someone who fe kind of feels like at some point they were too emotional. They were too involved with their heart and it got them hurt. So this person, um, the Page of Pentacles, it's almost like they're letting people come to them now. Okay. So that's not, that's not an even kind of energy just so you're aware um, within this dynamic. Page of Pentacles can mean that this person um, did offer, you know, they've got, they've got problems since a previous, I, I keep getting a previous situation. They've got problems with um, opening up ever since, okay? Um, now, the Queen of Swords here, this person is very aware, because we've got Queen of Swords and King of Swords here, this person is very, very aware that they're meant to be with you, that they, they are a match. Okay, but this person has trouble expressing themselves, expressing their feelings um, and opening up. So you may have found it very difficult uh, with this person um, in some ways. But behind that all, I mean, look at that. It's almost like the fear, but in between the fear and the weighing up of the fear is the commitment. This person wants to commit deep down. They're, they're all in in this relationship. Okay, if you, I mean, if you've married this person already, I feel like this person um, has a desire for, um, how can I put that? They get very, very stressed and they just, they have a desire for freedom. Um, not from the relationship, not from the relationship, from responsibility. That's what I'm getting. This person, um, it's almost like they've built so much responsibility on their shoulders and they just they just want to like take a step back sometimes. Uh, I mean, they may be even thinking about relocating or you are both thinking about relocating for work and it's just a big stress because this person is very, very stressed at the moment is the energy that I'm getting, okay? Um, but this person loves you because when I look at the cards, this person, you know, um, they yearn to be with you and, you know, life is just not as exciting without you. And also um, we've got a desire here to mend things to be with you and persist because the nine of wands there whilst it's a wounded warrior energy they see you as being worth it they see you as wanting to be with you uh, that they want to persist in a union so i mean not all relationships are wonderfully romantic and uh you know uh, perfect rainbows and unicorns we all have to work hard at relationships but this person is committed to you and you alone okay uh the the hierophant card is my marriage card so if you're not married to this person already I feel like they do want to get married, but the judgment card and the justice card, it's interesting, both of you have similar fears because the justice card is about weighing up options or having to make a decision or a compromise. And the judgment card is also the same. It's about, you know, being at the fork in the road and having to make a decision. So sometimes um, both of you can get a little bit in your head about the connection and, you know, uh, there, is a sl there is like indecisiveness sometimes. Um, but this person is all in. They they, uh, they do have faith that you're meant to be together. With the judgment card there, um, this is about, you know, their true calling. They know that their true calling is meant to be with you, but there's fear that goes behind the scenes, and they're working really hard to overcome those fears. Um, they have a real desire. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles is all about stability. It's about creating a home space. It's about feeling secure in a relationship with you. Uh, but we got the Ten of Wands to combat it. So it's almost like this person sometimes feels a lot of responsibility in the union. And oh, sorry, I just got a, feels a lot of responsibility in the union. Um, and perhaps you're dealing with like another Gemini even because, you know, it is about that, um, desire to remain independent, but still in a union. Keep your identity, but 
still be in a union. But I just see this person like either working really hard or some sort of pressure has gone on in within the relationship or externally that both of you are having to deal with at this time. And you're having to sort of like, I, I just see a delicate situation being made stronger. You're only going from strength to strength in this union. That's what I see, okay? Um, the Six of Swords is like a rite of passage. You know, everybody has to go through, and this is really unfortunate uh, truth of life, everybody has to go through a hardship, unfortunately, so that we can spiritually evolve and we learn. We learn more about uh, compassion for others by walking in uh, difficult circumstances makes us aware of um, hardships in life and that we all are walking in those hardships at any given moment in our life. So we all um, learn to be more compassionate, more understanding, and that is one of the ways that we spiritually evolve, okay? Uh, we start off, of course, as that bright spark, that full card energy, um, where we got hope for the future, all those wonderful bright ideas, we have faith that the universe is gonna take us to where we gotta go, and then we take the journey of life. And then we get into our teenage years, you know, we're a little bit, I mean, the teenagers now are a lot more socially conscious, which is wonderful. There is an awakening. Um, but, you know, as teenagers, we, we don't, we're not mature enough to realize, you know, uh, how, um, how difficult life can actually become. I mean, unless you've been given a lot of trauma, which is, a, you know, I'm sending you a huge hug out there if you've experienced a lot of trauma uh, in your lifetime. Um, but as we move forward through life, we're given tests. OK, uh, and this person has gone through some sort of testing time because the six of swords is like a rite of passage card to gain greater wisdom. So this person, either they had heartbreak um, before they came into a relationship with you and they are really cautious, but they are moving out of troubled waters. OK, they're moving into calmer waters. Spirit is guiding them into a much more calm mental space. So if this person tends to overthink a lot of things or is very, very stressed within the union, Things are about to get better in the union. Things are headed in the right direction. So I, I see both of you. Uh, this person wants to nurture this. They want it to grow even more, okay? Now, sometimes your person has a little bit of difficulty um, because you're showing up as king energy and they're showing up as page energy. So um, they're kind of showing me here that sometimes your person has put you on a little bit of a pedestal and um, it... it it's like they feel like they don't have much to offer, but what they have to offer, they want to make the effort and give you everything, okay? This person is learning within the relationship. This person is being realistic as well. They are stable, they are dependable, this person. But, you know, I feel like they want to nurture this to blossom into something more, more um, committed. Even if you're in a, you know, a, a marriage you know sometimes we go through moments where um you know there's tension or arguments and you know this person actually wants to learn to grow within the union uh and we've got you know this particular card there's like um dragonfly there so that indicates that this person knows that they've met their person they know that they've met the one and that they love you um and this is something that they will work on in order to be with you um the outcome energy we got the magician card now the magician card is uh, you know about confidence um, and both of you taking in the initiation or the initiative rather uh, to um, step up towards each other. OK, um, there's a lot of passion in this connection. And both of you, you, know, you do focus on each other. You may not talk about it, but actually you're focused on each other quite heavily. Um, also, the magician card is you aligning yourselves with each other um, and that there's a beautiful magic between you um, that needs to be remembered, okay, within the union. Um, the, the, the moon card tells me that there's a lot of deep feelings here, but there's also some insecurity that goes on there. Uh, and, you know, problems will come to the surface as we go through life in a relationship. Um, you know, every relationship has its ups and downs. And I feel um, this card literally means um, when things come to the surface, you make voluntary changes. So you and your person are being quite fluid and flexible with each other and actually, you know, finding your way through the relationship dynamic. There's a lot of love here, though, a lot of grounding, a lot of stability. And I feel both of you will work through those hardships and come out the other side stronger. Um, they're really pointing right now at the dog and the wolf, which really shows me that there is a question within both of your heads about, you know, being in a union 
whilst also remaining, you know, your wonderful individual self, not losing yourself completely to, um, you know, that, you know, not merging completely where you lose your identity within a relationship. That's very important for you and this person, especially Gemini, since you're such an independent, um, you know, creative kind of fun loving sign. Uh, you're very adventurous spirit as well. You know, you're re retaining your identity in a relationship with another person. You're factoring in their feelings and adjusting to a relationship. Um, and so are they. So I feel like there is that dynamic sometimes within this particular connection that I'm picking up on. Uh, but the moon card indicates very deep feelings and the world card indicates a very fulfilling union, something that's very, very successful that will, you know, uh, have deeper meaning. Uh, you'll understand uh, your uh, deeper role in the relationship and things will come full, full circle. Uh, this world, the world card is basically about um, shifting perspectives um, and also it's about um, commitments. You know, this is about contentment. This is a loving relationship that will go through many, many cycles, but it will remain in a blossoming state. This is a victory wreath right here. It's all about balance because all elements there are on the card. Okay, you've got Aquarius energy, you've got Scorpio, Taurus, and you've got Leo there. So they represent all the elements, the fire, water, earth, and air, which we all exhibit in any given moment. Okay, so um, with the Six of Cups, this is a card of living in the past. And it can mean, you know, that um, especially since we got the judgment card there, which is a card of second chances. So either you and this person have known each other for a long time and, you know, um, you go back to childhood or something like that. Uh, you've known each other since then. Or perhaps you met this person um, earlier on in your life, but you and this person never quite made it into a long term relationship. And now you're starting again. This card is a reminder that whilst um, Looking back at memories is important because we learn from that. We shouldn't live there because those, uh, you know, moments in the past are illusions now. They no longer exist. So um, this is like a yearning for the good old days. Um, and they're indicating here that living in the present moment is much more rewarding. We just need to learn the lesson of the past, okay? Six of Cups is also about sharing. It's also about finding that balance, um, finding that peace within the relationship and building happy memories. So this is your future. They're showing me here about building happy memories. Um, the only thing I would say with the Four of Cups is sometimes, um, you know, both of you have a tendency to need uh, stimulation, you know, keep the uh, excitement alive within the relationship. You're not the sort of people who get... Uh, who thrive on the humdrum, okay? Um, you know, repetitive cycles or habits and things like that, routines, tend to make you feel a little bit bored. Um, so I feel like you're the one who always tries to find the excitement in the relationship with that knight of uh, wands there. You like to keep the spark alive in the relationship, and that's really important. Um, things like date nights and, um, you know, if you're working really hard, as we all are, of course, finding some time to really commit to the union rather than just coming home and sitting on the sofa every night and being, you know, watching uh, TV um, and then the other person watching something on their phone or something like that. You know, it's more about connecting. Uh, that's what I see here. The Four of Cups indicates you and this person are protected, okay? As you can see, the umbrella there, uh, the, the, the goose there or the duck represents um, spirit and uh, the umbrella is protection. So this is a protected union. And I feel like you and this person, um, if you haven't received some sort of surprise, because the, the Tower Energy and the Four of Cups tells me there could have been something that popped up out of surprise, as a surprise in the union. It doesn't always have to be a bad surprise, but it can mean, as I said, that for example, you or your person just got told that you have to relocate to another, um, workspace and it may be traveling or it may mean that three nights out of the week you're going to have to be abroad or something like that so because we've got the world card there as well so it could be that there is an external circumstance right now affecting your union that's been causing a lot of pressure and you're both working through that dynamic the hermit energy indicates a withdrawal okay um it is a time for introspection and enlightenment so this is about you and this person being really reflective and calm maybe taking some time out for yourself to enrich your own lives and have that independence energy doesn't mean like you're not with this person 
but sometimes we it's important for us all to do things on our own for example uh, to have our own hobbies or have our own friends where we keep that that freshness uh, within the relationship the hermit card is a very interesting card because it basically means take some necessary time out to step back and regroup your energy and then come back into the fray as it were so sometimes you and this person you may need to you know regenerate your energy uh, by taking a step back um, and having some me time um, the eight of pentacles is all about repair work it is also about learning okay we are all students of the universe we are constantly learning uh, in relationships uh, in day-to-day -day. Uh, we're always working out the best way to do life none of us came here with a manual so we're actually just responding reacting you know it's that sort of like uh, cause and effect energy that goes on within our life but eight of pentacles tends to mean you know um finding a way to um you know learn a little bit more about the other person i feel like you and this person are discovering more and more about each other as you grow with each other the eight of pentacles is you know it can mean that sometimes you and this person because it's partnered up in the placements with the the four of cups there it can mean that routine tends to be a little bit of a Debbie Downer in your relationship uh, that sometimes you and this person get into a repetitive cycle and it's about making sure that you uh, find that excitement okay sometimes you and this person may be thinking back to remember when we first met and we did all those crazy things well you're still together so you can still all do those crazy things okay I know we've got a pandemic going on and you know it's difficult to find things to be able to do depending on where you are in the world right now because every place is different but I feel it's about keeping that spark alive okay the eight of Pentacles also indicates that this is a dedicated relationship this is you know something that is um, very important to both of you and uh, that there is a lot of um, there is a deep commitment here uh, nine of wands is that wounded warrior which basically means um, you know this figure here has got all those little wounds but it's worth it just to be able to smell that rose. So I feel this is a card of persistence, but it's also a card of making sure there's healthy boundaries within the union, okay? So whilst there is love and love is important, sometimes it's not it's not always just enough, okay? It, it can mean that, you know, a healthy boundary is necessary, but both of you keep going. You, you don't give up on this union. Nobody's giving up on this union. That's what I see. Uh, both of you love each other dearly, um, and whilst there are some insecurities and fears that go on all the time within unions, we're all human, um, you and this person find a way to make it right, to make it work. Um, and that Nine of Wands energy is protection as well this is a protection energy so sometimes there may be a little bit of guardedness or a barrier a defense within the union this is showing up on your person side just so you're aware um there's a, a bit of a barrier there so but i feel like you're very patient with this person um because they're also worth it i'm just seeing if i've, I've got anything else with the nine of wands uh, there's just a little bit of energy here of um a cautious energy of burning the candle at both ends so if you're both working really hard for example and of course we have to we have to pay the bills we have to look after children uh, you know there's a lot of responsibility um, make some time for you that's what, because the hermit there with the nine of wands just tells me that some you know sometimes we just need a break sometimes we just need to take some time out and recoup our energy because this card can be like um, both of you are working really hard um, you're focusing on career you're focusing on um, paying bills all of those things and you're burning yourself out your person's getting to the ten of wands energy which is complete burnout so um, overloaded with responsibility I feel like it's a little sort of cautionary kind of energy message from spirit for both of you um, about hurting yourselves by doing too much and needing some some necessary time to just regroup your own energy okay uh, quite a complex reading that's coming out there uh, I do see two people who are very committed to each other um, that's been going through some sort of pressurized incident or something within the union and it's thrown up some anxiety there uh, but I see two people who are committed to this union who are not given up unbreakable that's what I feel okay uh, now your first card is I trust my intuition your person's card is I trust in divine timing thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide I release what doesn't serve me oh they want one more 
Thank you so much for it, guys. Going to can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm sure they're grateful. I am good enough. Okay, so you are, I trust my intuition. So you're being guided by passion, but also uh, by your intelligence. Your intuition is so important. Uh, the tower is number 15. Oh, sorry, the devil is number 15. Uh, the tower um, comes after that. So it's about breaking down the fears, breaking down the walls is what they're giving me, okay? Because your person's got the devil card, which is the fear. And I feel like the tower energy, you're making this person face their fears, smash right through them. I feel like you're helping them rebuild in some way. And you're trusting your intuition to do this because you know that this person is your person. Also, I trust in, my, I trust in divine timing, okay? So this person does know that they've met the one. Um, they've waited a long time to be in a relationship as well, but they've got a lot of fear that you're helping them with. I release what doesn't serve me. It's number 19, which is a sun card. In order to, to be happy, it's important to let things go that no longer serve us or are hindering our path. Whether that's fear, easier said than done, I know, but we all have to work through things. And the moon card indicates a lot of processing of emotions. And remember, I am good enough. It's number 21. Uh, the last card of your overall faded energy is 21, the world card. So I feel like there's a synchronicity here. Um, both of you recognizing that you're good enough. You bring a lot to the table when it comes to love and recognizing that both of you are good enough to, you know, receive love, to give and receive love. It's important because um, sometimes some of us have a little bit of low self-confidence in unions and, and, um, they're extra cautious with their heart. So patience is important. Um, so I'll leave it like that. I'm just gonna give you a trinket before we close. Oh, we've only got one. So we've got the guitar. So this is also about a little bit more, uh, you know, raising vibrations kind of energy, tuning into each other. Um, but also I feel music is important for healing. So, uh, because it's got two stars there on that guitar as well. So perhaps both of you are healing from previous uh, relationships that perhaps did a lot of damage. And whilst you may not want to be with the persons or the people in the past, uh, it has influenced the way that you operate within relationships going forward. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how damaging relationships from the past can be because you can feel like you process something, but then it can be triggered later on in life. So, um, they want me to put this on the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So maybe this is about learning to tune into each other, your fears and things like that, and um, you're raising your vibrations, perhaps um, coming together for a bit more play time, uh, a little bit more playful energy in the, in the union is important. Um, so I'll leave it like that. Um, I hope something resonates in this reading. As I said, this one was quite complex, so I'm not sure whose energy I'm picking up on there. Um, okay, now they just give me a song. Um, okay, uh, the song uh, is because I'm saving all my love for you. Okay, so um, if I remember rightly, saving all my love for you. I think that was it, Whitney Houston. Was that Whitney Houston? I think that was. Um, that's what it sounds like. It's that version because I'm saving all my love for you. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, so please, I'm not really sure of the lyrics of that. They're only just giving me that segment of the song, so I'll have to look it up after the reading, see how it applies to your reading. Um, but if something in this re uh, reading resonated for you, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Um, I don't do these readings too often. Uh, these readings tend to bring out um, uh, deep energy of how to... Um, understand each partner a little bit more uh, so uh, they are often very complex if you'd like to be in the chance to win a free personal reading all you have to do is uh, take a moment to be grateful for everything the universe has sent you and be grateful for everything that is yet to come because the more grateful you are the more uh, the universe sends you scenarios and opportunities to be grateful for in the comments box below all you have to put is I have an attitude of gratitude and I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of April and I'll announce the winner in a video upload okay thank you so much my beautiful Gemini love and light